Hello everyone, welcome back to Backstage Spotlight and today we have Miss Misha Garbett joining us. Hi! So for those of you who don't know, Misha appeared in Matilda, the movie musical remake, which came out, it came out like a year ago now, didn't it? Oh, she stopped her camera. <laughs> it came out, yeah, it came out a year ago, almost a year ago today. It was like a year ago today, two days ago, when I posted my first video. Oh, oh my goodness. You'll never guess what came up in my memories um, on TikTok, literally this morning. It was, um, I went to see the movie literally the day it came out. And I duetted the your red beret dance. And this, this is what I posted. Oh, you can't even see it. I like duetted it in college. And it's like... Oh my God, I remember that. I remember dance. that. I saw that, yeah. And I posted it a year ago today. How crazy is oh that? God. Yeah. I can't believe it's been a year already. Yeah. Like how... Like, it's gone so crazy. It, it's gone yeah. so quick. Um, but you actually filmed it like two years ago, didn't you? Like two. Three yeah, we ago. started filming it in like the start of twenty twenty one. So yeah, so two years. Had we come out of lockdown by then? Yeah, we had just come out of like the big lockdown, but most people were still in the second lockdown, I think. But we were uh -huh. going to rehearsals, but we had like lots of precautions we had to take. We had to wear a mask the whole time, visors, because it was rehearsals. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh gosh. So how old were you when you filmed that? I was 12 when I started and then I turned 13 as well because it was over like seven months. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So when you were 12, like what was the audition process? Like, like how did you get the part in the movie? So originally I auditioned to be an ensemble character. So I did about four rounds of that, I'd say. First, I learned oh. a routine from Bruce. And then I learned another one from Revolting Children and then the one that I did in the corridor and another one. So there's a lot of rounds of that. And then after that, they asked me to audition to be Hortensia, which is the Red Fairy Girl. Yeah. And for that, I went straight to the final, which was four people. We did um, School Song. We did a piece of acting that's before Chokey Chant, the song. And yeah. then also the corridor routine. So that was the process. And then it was really quick, actually, because there was thousands of kids that auditioned and 200 kids ended up being in the film. It was really quick because they were quick to, like, get it done, basically. Yeah. So, yeah. That's crazy. And when you found out, can you remember the day you found out that you were cast as Hortensia? What was yeah. your reaction? I was, I was so shocked. I couldn't believe it. Because, as I said, originally, I thought I was going to be a dancer if I even got that. And then when I actually got a part, I was so happy. Yeah, and like the cast and crew, like you worked with Emma, Emma Thompson. How was that? She was so nice. One core memory that I've got is I remember one day on set, it was like near the end, she got us all an ice cream truck, like a whole truck. She brought it <laughs> onto set and the whole 200 kids, we all got ice cream from it and it was so cool. And she was oh, so nice. She seems so lovely. Like, I can't she's believe so like precious. she's such an icon. And the fact that you've like worked alongside her is literally insane. Yeah, like I was watching her in Nanny McPhee when I was younger and then yeah. I was like with her, so it's crazy. You're like, oh my gosh, like you're Nanny McPhee. Literally. <laughs> like she's been in like Harry Potter, like that is so cool. I know, it's crazy. And she's such a good actress as well. Like she'd be yeah. such a lovely person. And then as soon as she's in the costume, like even just the costume changed her, so, like she was in the mode. She was, it was really scary when she was Miss Trunchbull though. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And how was filming? Like did a scene take ages? Like how long were you filming for? So the rehearsal process was probably the longest because there were so many people, so many dance numbers, especially they took so long to rehearse, get everything perfect, get all the positioning and stuff. So we rehearsed for about two months, I'd say. Wow. Um, and then by the time we got to filming, it was all pretty much perfect. So the only times we had to retake was for the camera angles and stuff like that. So we didn't actually film for that long, but it was like oh. the rehearsals that were... That's yeah. good. And I've seen like behind the scenes videos of like you rehearsing the dances and did they make like fake set for you to Yeah, it was so in? cool. We was in Alexandra Palace and yeah. they, in like the big section, they built this whole wooden set, basically the whole set from just wood. And they made like the whole staircase and everything. And then my corridor and Bruce's corridor. So like they mapped out exactly where it was all going to be because for yeah. example in my corridor I had to get to a certain place by a certain time because there's people yeah. flipping behind me so yeah it was so like cool. the camera following you like you have to do the choreography like for the camera yeah like straightforward so as well as doing the routine it was all traveling so far forwards as well 
Yeah. And for that end, like massive number, did you, was like a lot of it filmed in one sequence or did it like chop and change to different parts? It did mostly like, they, we did a tiny bit and then cut and then another bit then yeah. cut. Especially like the bit near the end, because it's like the circles around the statue. There's so many different angles. So yeah. they did, they kind of did one where we did the whole thing just as a little run. But then most of the time it was like chop, chop here. So that was really helpful because for example, with West End, you have to like remember the whole thing or all, all, yeah. all your lines, all that. But with a film, it you know exactly what section you're doing. So it's a lot easier because you can get that tiny bit perfect and then move on to the next one. That's good. And how did you get into it all? Like, have you, is it always something you've liked doing, like performing, dancing, acting, singing? Like, when did it start? So I started dancing when I was three and I started with like baby ballet and all that stuff. And then I just did classical styles and then I moved on to like tap. And then when I was around seven, I started street dance and I absolutely loved that. Like, that's my favorite thing to do is street dance. And then my first ever job that I did was perform on stage with Justin Bieber at Hyde Park on his That's tour. So cool. That was like the first ever thing I did. And it was like crazy to be How old are you when you did that? I was eight when I did that. Oh my goodness. It was for his children tour. So there was a song where he got loads of different kids from all over the world to like join him on just one occasion. So there were six of us at Hyde Park. That was amazing and then from then on like, I knew I wanted to perform for like a big crowd because it was just the best feeling ever and then I got into acting because I went to like a theatre school and that kind of yeah. got me into the acting side of stuff and yeah kind nice. of went from there. and you go to a school don't you where it's like performing arts and then you do do you do like GCSEs how does that work yeah so I'm in year 11 right now yeah and we're about to do our GCSEs so we do three days a week academic and yeah. then two days a week is vocational. So just singing, dancing and acting. Um, so it is harder to cram all of our academics into three days because everyone all has five days. But we do less options than normal. So I do obviously maths, English, science. Then we have to do drama because they're at school. And then we yeah. have two other options. So I think it's slightly less than a normal school just yeah. to make it more manageable. But then they also did give us a lot of homework as well. Yeah, I bet. Do you do anything like geography, languages? So there is an option to do Spanish, but I didn't choose that one. I could not do that. Um, but we don't do geography. I do history and I do yeah. media. Media, I love media. It's so cool. Well, media is cool. Do you get to do like film your own things and like put stuff together and like make like posters and stuff? <laughs> so part of our GCSE, I can't remember the percentage, but part of it is making our own thing. And that's what we're doing right now, actually. The deadline for the final piece is next week. Oh my um, God. So we're making, <laughs> we're making our own magazine. But it's just the front cover and like two pages. Yeah. So that's what we're doing at the minute. But we don't actually film anything. I think that's more like the A level side where you get to be yeah. more creative. But we like learn about loads of different genres, like crime drama. So that's really cool. That's cool. And do you think you're prepared for your GCSEs? Like, are you quite academic? I actually do like academic that's different to a lot of people in my school because a lot of people are just focused on the vocational side but I do really like it and my this is really unusual unpopular opinion but my favorite subject is maths Maths. I, I, I hate English I can't write I hate English but I love maths <laughs> yeah so what do you think you'll do after your GCSEs like does your school carry on to what would be A levels and do you do like BTEC sort of thing so our school stops at year 11 um, right. So at the minute, all of our vocational teachers are helping us with college auditions and prep and stuff like that. So, good. so I want to go to Wilkes, which is like okay. a commercial dance based college in Swindon. So I want to go there. But I'm also going to audition to other places. Lots of people want to go to Lanes. And stuff yes, like that. it's so good to audition for like multiple things and also to yeah. still have your academic stuff like as a backup in case yeah. like you do want to go on to do A levels or anything academic. Um, and also like, the more places you audition for, the more of a chance you've got of going down like different routes. Yeah. As well. So what would be like your end goal? Like after, so say you got into Wilkes after those three years, do you want to be doing more film? Do you want to be on the stage? What would be your like dream career? So I really want to carry on being in films and especially musical theatre films because I can do dancing and singing yeah. all in one. 
but I my main goal something I really want to be in is a Marvel movie I really oh. want to be in one of them because I can flip and stuff like that as well so I can do my own stunts and the first ever film I did was Hobbs and Shaw Fast and Furious and I did oh. stunts in that and like I absolutely loved it we, I was getting pulled back by a string and I was like this is so cool so I would absolutely love to be in a Marvel movie that is really cool and also because yeah. Christmas coming up you were in Jingle Jangle weren't you yeah what was that, that was like ages ago now I was like nine I think maybe ten that was such a good experience and it just Elba was on that as well so that was really cool because we learned about him in media now as well so I was like oh my god I was literally with him but that was it was my second film so it was quite new to me still yeah. and I got to dance in that one and sing in that one so all through that what I love to get what scenes did you do? So if people go and watch Jingle Jangle, what scenes could you see you in? So it's really near the start. Like when they're telling the story, when the book first opens, I'm literally like one of the first characters you see in the book. I'm a street urchin and we're like running around and then we go <laughs> into the shop and then there's like a big dance number. Yeah. That's so cool. I'm going to watch that because that's such a good film because it's like <laughs> a musical Christmas girl yeah. which is so good if you that. haven't watched Jingle Jangle guys you've got to go watch it <laughs> get into the Christmas spirit yeah um you do a lot of teaching now since the whole red beret girl bonanza on TikTok like yeah. you've brought into a lot of like workshops you've done a lot of like Matilda themed dance classes how do you feel like ha having so many opportunities to like teach others that choreo yeah it's so crazy it's been like a year that I've been teaching now so I think my first ever one was the start of January so almost a year I've yeah. literally toured over the whole of the UK and I even went and taught in America so it's absolutely crazy I've been up and down every weekend at different dance schools every time and I just love seeing how much of an impact I make on other kids my age and younger and sometimes even older I've taught people older than me as well mm -hmm. so it's just amazing to meet so many people because when it's online it's I get the feeling but it's just not the same as seeing it in yeah. real life I agree with you like when you're doing stuff on social media like you kind of post it and then you just go and like make a cup of tea like you don't really yeah. realize and like that stuff's like on your phone but then when people yeah. meet you and you're speaking to them and they're like oh this video like this thing you're just like oh my gosh like like what I post like you actually, yeah. you actually watch it like you're <laughs> it's and like, like to that. see the influence I make on people like people's reactions I do quite a lot of videos for people so for their birthday or something like that their parents oh, so will cute. Video. and quite a few times the parents have filmed their reaction and it's just so cute seeing like what an impact I make Oh, that's so special. What's the age range of people that you have that you teach? It's such a big range. I've taught as young as two. No way. way. Yeah, it feels so cute and tiny. Oh, and then oh. I think I've taught like up to mid-20s, I'd say, probably. Oh, my goodness. At your age, like doing that is just amazing. <laughs> it's so <laughs> good. Do you think teaching is something you'd want to do in the future or just like the yeah. one workshop? or like probably like one-off workshop while I'm still like doing stuff out there but then maybe once my career is kind of finishing and when I get a bit yeah. older maybe I could like own my own dance school then oh yeah like yeah or maybe you could have like a regular slot at like pineapple base. yeah that I've talked quite cool. a few times at pineapple I love her what she does what was that like do you have like a massive turnout when you do classes yeah, so Pineapple was one of the first places I taught the Red Berry dance. And the first ever one I did was like huge. I think there was about 200 people on Zoom that couldn't make it to the lesson. And then about 100 and something in the actual class as well. That so that was crazy. crazy. They said that's the most they've ever had. So that, that, yeah, was that, is, that is a lot of people. Oh, and then I also so taught good. a move it. And I think that was 180 yes. people there. Oh, that is so many people for a <laughs> class. Yeah. You, you also did musical con, didn't you? Yeah, that was, was more like recently. two, three weeks ago. Yeah. 
Yeah, how was that? That was so cool as well. And because it's, I've never really been in a fully musical theatre environment before because I'm very dance based. Yeah. So I taught a movie and it was more just like dancers, just learning the routine. But yeah. then at Musical Con, it was completely different atmosphere because they were the people that loved like the song as well as not just the dance. Like they were. Yeah, like the musical dancing. side of it. Yeah. So to see them just like have fun for the love of it, it was just an amazing experience. Yeah. Oh, so good. Um, you've recently done a new movie that's coming out haven't you yeah do you want to tell everyone what that is so I'm going to be in the Wicked movie coming out next year and I got to meet Ariana Grande and that was so cool I no she's way. Such a... you actually met her yeah she's tell so us. nice tell us what happened <laughs> So we, all the rehearsals, we never saw her or anything, but we knew she was in our scene, but we'd never rehearsed with her. So we were all like, do you think we're going to meet her? Like, are we actually going to see her? And then when we got to set, she had this like amazing outfit costume. It was so cool. And she came out of her like little holding area and we were all like, oh my gosh, she's actually there. So it was just amazing. And she was so nice as well. I stood literally right next to her. And I remember it was freezing that day. And she had like these hand warmers. And like she was sharing it all around. And she was like hugging us all. It was so cute. That's so sweet. How many people were on that set? Was it a big scene? There was quite a lot in that one. I'm pretty sure it was about almost 100 maybe. Because there was quite a lot of ensemble dancers as well, yeah. Yeah. Are you allowed to say what the scene was or or do we have to wait? Is that a surprise? I'll say it. It was like the No One Mourns the Wicked song. I was in that one. And then quite a lot of people were in loads of different ones as well. But they wanted me to be in the second film. So there's two films coming out. But for like continuity wise, they said just this one. Yeah. Oh, cool. Sounds so good. (laughs) Um, it's so exciting and I'm assuming like you've got loads planned like continuously getting like self-tapes like stuff like that yeah. is it quite busy so I've because of the actor and writer strike recently it was really quiet because there was they were on a strike for ages yeah. but now it just stopped it's getting really busy again like I've had I think it's five self-tapes this week that is insane that is crazy it's just started again like it was never that busy before but because everything's coming back at the same time Mm. it's like a lot and they're all from my American agent so I have an American agent and they're really good like they get me so many auditions but then it was so annoying that that strike came on but yeah Yeah. it's getting busy if you get a audition over from America if you film like the self-tape and like get through that round is there an in-person round then in America that you would have to travel to so yeah I it would be a, quite a few Zoom auditions before they actually take me to America. But yeah, I would end up going there. That is crazy. And you did a lot of traveling. You were you danced in the kids Eurovision, um, yeah, competition. How was that? That was almost a year ago now. I'm pretty sure it's like Gosh. end of December when we did that. So that's crazy. It's gone so quickly, but that, that really was fun. such a good experience. Like we got to perform on Children in Need just before we went as oh, well, nice. and then. I, the other girls we made such good friends they were all really oh. nice and the main singer Freya Sky, she got ill when we were there um just before like we was going to perform she got a cold and her voice wasn't like at its best so me and one other girl we had to like come in for the vocals as well so we were doing oh. some backing vocals just to support her voice so that was quite scary because Singing is not my strongest point. I still do it, but I prefer yeah. acting and dancing. So the yeah. fact that I had to sing in front of all these people and on TV as well while dancing, so my breath. Oh. Yeah. But oh it was a goodness. good experience. Yeah. yeah, such a good experience. And I also saw yesterday in your bio, I didn't realise this, but you went on BGT with that dance troupe, didn't you? Yeah. So How I many... was on... Oh, sorry, go on. <laughs> I was on BGT with IMD in... 2022 yeah yes so that was last year yeah yes and how many auditions did you have to get to get on the televised show so with my dance crew they'd been on it I think it was in about 2015 they got to the semi-finals then as well um so because we're a big crew and they already knew us we just had to send in a video of us like with what we thought we wanted to do and then that was all we had to do but I know for other people they have to go through like more rounds but because they already yeah. knew us we didn't have to do that many oh. so we just did one videotape which was really cool and then we were literally straight there 
to the audition that aired on TV and seeing all the judges, it was like surreal. They look so like perfect there and then we're on the stage and the big audience. Yeah, it was a great experience. Because like you watch BGT and then when you're on that stage, you must be like, oh my gosh, like I'm I'm on a TV set. Yeah, like, like I've been watching this since I was so young and now I'm here. <laughs> if there was a TV show that you'd want to go on, so like I'm a celebrity, like um, Big Brother, like stuff like that, what would be like, or like Strictly, what would be your dream TV show to do? I would definitely not go on I'm a Celebrity because I'm really? terrified of bugs. <laughs> I hate, I've always said I would never do anything like that because the fact of eating the stuff, like the bugs, yeah, I just, no, I if there's a spider in my room, I scream, cry, and get out of the room. <laughs> so I could never do that. But I would probably want to go on Strictly because all the dancing on ice. Yeah, I think I would really enjoy that one. Probably dancing on ice. Yeah. I feel like that would be really interesting because, like, dancing and then putting ice skates on is like ice skating, yeah. Like, and learning the skills of what you have to do to ice skate and it look good. Yeah. I think that would be really cool. That yeah. would be good. Um, I've got a quick game. It's like a this or that sort of thing. I've got about twenty of them. Shall we go through yeah. them? And you've got yeah. to tell me which one you'd prefer. Yeah. So some are musical themed, some are just like general life. So we'll start at number one. First one is Heather's the musical or Frozen. Oh, it's got to be Frozen. That's a childhood favourite. Yes. Um, Hamilton or Six? Oh, Six. Six. Six is a good one. Ballet or Tap? Tap. I love Tap. Oh, good. Um, late nights or early mornings? Late nights. Late <laughs> nights. So you a night bird? Yeah. <laughs> oh, when I have to get up early in the morning, my eyes literally do not open. Literally, that's me every day for school. But then my parents get so annoyed when I stay up late, and they're like, "You've got to wake up early in the morning." I'm like, "I can't get to sleep." <laughs> and then your sleep pattern just goes like out of the window. Yeah. And then you have to wake up for like school college and your alarm goes off and you're like oh my goodness like, literally not... 10 more minutes <laughs> yeah in the morning as well you shut your eyes and then like your clock has gone forward like so fast so I... why can't that happen in the night why can't <laughs> yeah. I get to that easy? Uh, um next one is taking class or teaching class probably taking class because I still love to learn like new stuff from different choreographers yeah, so, yeah. that's a good one um, oh, this is interesting. Film work or stage work? I do love stage work to see the live audience. Like you get a special buzz yeah. from that. But I, oh, that's a hard one. Probably film for the long yeah. run. I'd want to be in films. Yeah. Nice. Um, summer or winter? I love summer. <laughs> summer. Yeah, got to be the hot weather. Although it's nice getting like all cozy in winter. Yeah, I do like getting like the fire on and watching a Christmas film. My mum loves getting cozy, so she'd probably say winter. Yeah, do you have like a fireplace with like Christmas decorations? <laughs> yeah, in our living room we have a fireplace, and our dogs absolutely love it. They literally sit oh. right in front of it, <laughs> and then we put all the Christmas decorations up. What yeah. are your dogs called? They're French bulldogs, and one's called Frenchie, and one's called Coco. Oh, and that's so cute. Frenchie is Coco's mum. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, did you breed the dogs? Yeah, we did. There was six puppies. We did it in last year, summer. Oh my goodness. So the little one must be like one and a half years old. Yeah, she is there. Oh, that's so cute. So cute. I bet <laughs> when they come out as puppies, they're just so tiny. They were so tiny. I was there. We like took them home and I had them in like this little box. They were literally that small. It was so oh. cute. Oh, I really <laughs> like a tiny little puppy. <laughs> they were so cute. And having six of them as well. We had them for like, I think it was about nine weeks we had all of them for. So yeah, they were oh, so that's cute. That's so cute. Um, next one is self-tapes or in-person auditions? Definitely in person. I do not like self tapes. I find you can just get like the vibe better in person and they can know more about you. Whereas self tape is just like video after video after video like yeah. I feel like you can't really show as much yeah I agree and also when you film self tapes it's like you have the power to like watch it back and be like oh no I don't like how yeah. I that whereas in person like the adrenaline gets you through and you just do it once and then it's done yeah like it's so like you spend so less time on it and I think yeah. it's better <laughs> um uh, another musical one. Oh, this might be hard because you've done both <laughs> Matilda or Wicked 
Mm, I've got to say Matilda. Yeah. <laughs> um, Les Mis or Newsies? Newsies. I really love Newsies. I knew someone that was in it, Josh Denya, yeah, when I went to see it. So I, I really love that. The dancing was incredible. Yeah, it's so good. Newsies is honestly amazing. Um, mm-hmm. Singing or acting? Acting. Yeah, you said that earlier. <laughs> um, I think I know the answer to this one. Commercially dance or contemporary? Definitely commercial. That's yeah. my favourite stuff. You're so good at it. Sometimes I watch your videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, how is she this good? (laughs) She's so young. (laughs) Guys, if you haven't seen her commercial videos, head over to her Instagram. They're literally insane. She's so talented. So, so good. Um, I think you've you've answered this one too, but would you go to university or dance college? Yeah, definitely dance college. (laughs) If you were to go to university, what course do you think you'd do? I don't know because I was originally going to do normal A levels and like everything like that but until Matilda my dad was like okay if you want to go to dance college you can now but originally (laughs) he wanted me to do A levels go to university and just to have a backup option and then start again but I don't know I kind of like my dad did sports science and I like that side of stuff as well like I love all sports so maybe yeah. something to do with that or psychology I find that really interesting psychology is interesting yeah. well, you could link it to the industry so like sports science you could do some sort of like um dancers physio yeah, like, stuff yeah like that. Cool. it can become really interesting one of my backups I did English language at a level and my backup if all failed was to do like language therapy but for like like drama like language in That's children cool. like when yeah. children have like speech um, difficulty like you can give them speech oh, that's up. so cool that would be so <laughs> cute wouldn't it um yeah. next one is do you prefer tiktok or instagram i've got to say tiktok i love tiktok just yeah. scrolling through it all day <laughs> in lockdown like every i swear everyone was on tiktok like and that's when it really blew up yeah i was spending literally all my time on tiktok <laughs> yeah because my little sister had tiktok like a year or two years before lockdown and I was like oh like TikTok like what's TikTok because it had just transformed from musically can you remember yeah oh I remember musically <laughs> I had that at like seven years old and I was filming my little music knees I loved it oh my gosh I have in my camera roll some like old music knees of like me and my sister <laughs> like, it's hilarious um but yeah obviously it switched to TikTok but in lockdown was when everyone started going on in it and it's actually yeah. stayed like it's been like three years since lockdown and TikTok is still a thing. So I've had it for so long. Even like before lockdown, I've been like an OG TikToker. <laughs> yeah, you were, you were like my sister, one of the OGs. <laughs> um, do you prefer sweet or sna- or savoury snacks? Oh, depends what mood I'm in, but most of the time savoury. I have these sweet chilli rice crackers that I absolutely love. Oh. And they're my go-to snack. They sound nice. I like <laughs> carrots and hummus. That yeah that sounds nice but I feel like not many people would like that yeah but it's so nice, yeah. like a bit like marmite like you either love it or you hate it yeah but I love hummus and then if I was to have a sweet snack chocolate <laughs> chocolate my favorite one is the marvelous creations Cadbury that yeah is my, the absolute best that's good chocolate bar next question is do you prefer having your hair up or your hair down my hair down definitely but every day for school I have to have it up and it's so annoying but I like do you have down. to like is it like a real yeah, oh my yeah on Thursdays and Fridays for our vocational days it has to be in a bun like a slick bun and then on Monday Tuesday Wednesday it just has to be up oh my so god we never had hair rules at school That's really crazy. oh yeah. so lucky and even like hair accessories we can't have any colored hair accessories if we have any it has to be black Oh, wow. That it's is very strict. strict. <laughs> very strict. Um, do you prefer your birthday or Christmas? Probably Christmas, because you get the whole build up to it as well. Whereas your birthday is just one day and it's over. But yeah. Christmas is like the whole of December with the advent calendars and everyone's celebrating it as well. And I love the Christmas dinner. Oh, Christmas dinner is a <laughs> Um, Do you have an advent calendar yet for this year? I do have an advent calendar it looks so good it's a beauty advent calendar and it's from look fantastic and I'm so excited that that's a good one I've just got (laughs) um I've got a lint one and then I have this one that which has food in so like every day you open it yeah I think I might get like the classics Cadbury one as well to have like chocolate every day just gotta have a bit of chocolate (laughs) yeah 
Um, next one is, do you prefer having like a chill, um, like a chill afternoon or evening, or do you prefer having like a busy schedule? I do like having a busy schedule because I'm basically doing something all the time. And then when I have a day off, I feel like I need to do something. Like I can't stay in the house yeah, all day. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm, yeah, my parents get so annoyed because they're like, can't you just stay at home? Like we don't want to go out. But I'm like, no, I need to do something. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same. Like I'm just sat around like, this is waste of my time. Like I could be doing something. Literally, I have nothing to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, We've got two left. Cinema or theatre? Like watching. Ooh, probably theatre yeah. like the it's nice going like live shows yeah um last question is do you prefer dancing in a group or dancing solo that is a hard one because with my group IMD that was such a good feeling because everyone was such a big family and like it, the energy was just amazing but I also do like doing solos because I, I find like I have my own unique style which yeah. not many groups do so you probably have to be solo yeah nice <laughs> well what a good little game there thank you for that yeah. um thank you so much for joining me it's been it's so all right nice. thank you for having me um at the end of each episode I always ask what um person you would like to nominate to come on the podcast so you let me know okay. who and then I will reach out to them so off the top of your head someone from the performing industry who do you think I think a good episode You've got to get Alicia Weir, who plays Matilda. Oh, yes. Let's ask Alicia That would be a good one. That would be a great episode. Well, thank you so much. (laughs) To everyone watching, thank you for watching or listening. If you're watching on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe and like the video. And if you're on Spotify, please make sure to give it a five-star review. See you next week for next episode. Thank you so much, Misha. Thank you. Bye. Bye.